I have become a bit of an expert on a few things. Yep, it may sound a bit arrogant for me to say so, but trust me, when you hear it, you'll find out that I really am an absolute, without a doubt, bona fide expert. I'm an expert on really three things. First of all, I am a class A expert on stupidity. Yeah, uh, I've done some stupid things in my life and maybe you can relate, but I might be at the top of the charts. I, I told you I used to because I used to wet the bed and just desired water so bad. I drink so bad and mama wouldn't let me drink. And so what would I do? This also goes along with the other thing I'm expert in, which is also sin. Uh, I would just go and sneak since I couldn't drink water out of the faucet because you turn the water on and you hear it. I couldn't go in the kitchen and get a drink. And plus my brother would tell on me. So where would I get some water from? Well, out of the toilet. I was just thirsty and I'm going to get it the best way I could. I was an expert on stupidity and I was an expert on sin. Even growing up, I would still do some things that I knew I should not should not have done. I would do things that I felt like I could probably get away with or I could probably fix, don't do this, but I could make it better after a while. I would find myself engaged in things that I knew I should not have. As a matter of fact, things that I never would have thought that I would have. If you'd asked me a year before, a year, who knows, months prior to doing it, I would have told you there's no way I would do the things that I would have done ultimately. Now, you don't get to prison by being good. You get to prison by being two things. One, stupid and sinful. And those two things met in my life and I found myself there. Now, I also, because of my stupidity and because of my sin, I also ended up becoming an expert. And I shouldn't say expert, but at least more to the degree that I was before. But I'll go ahead and use expert. I became an expert on the spirit. What do I mean? Knowing everything about the spirit? No, but an expert in my relationship with him. Uh, because, see, my stupidity and my sin brought me down, brought me low made me to become broken. I was like David. I had a broken and contrite heart. And because of that, I found myself in a place where all I could do was rely on him, trust in him. People say, Corey, you don't trust the Holy Spirit. You don't know the power of, of the Spirit. I beg to differ. The only reason why I'm here four or five years out of prison earlier than normal is because of me trusting in him. Without question, I lean on him. I look to him because I love him. I am yeah, an expert on stupidity, demonstrated that time and time again, an expert on sin, demonstrated that as well. Now, I'm over that, thankfully, at least not to the degree that I was before. But what I all say I'm an expert in, without question, is my relationship, my love, my leaning, my looking to the spirit. Without him, I know where I'd be. There's a passage that actually relates what I'm trying to say. Paul says this in Galatians 2.20. He says, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. And so that's me. That is the passage that kind of uh, tells the story of me. I live not for me, not for my benefit, though my personality will come out uh, in me reading scriptures and defending the scriptures and so forth. My personality is going to come out, but I can promise you, his mark is all over me because of what I've gone through. And I have learned to become um, someone who leans on him. And I invite you to do the exact same thing if you haven't done so already. Amen.